How's it going movie fans? My name is Jonathan. I am a man of movies and thank you so much to all those people that are keeping up with my Saw review series. But if you haven't, that's all right. Here's the playlist. Check those videos out before you check this one out. Also to those that saw my last review vid, I want to apologize for that abrupt ending. I don't know what happened there. I did download some good spyware. Hopefully that fixes the problem. But with that being said, let's get right into Saw 6 is directed by Kevin Gruder and returning writers Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan, starring Tobin Bell, Costas Mandalore, Betsy Russell, Peter Outerbridge, and Shawnee Smith this time around. Jigsaw is still directing events from beyond the grave, and Hoffman is now the heir to his twisted legacy. But as the FBI closes in, Hoffman sets in motion a game that's designed to reveal Jigsaw's grand scheme. So many people tell me, Jonathan, the movies just get worse and worse and worse, and they're not technically wrong. But I just wouldn't describe the franchise this way. I think, more fittingly, it's like a roller coaster ride with its ups and downs, where in the last one, we just flew off the rails. But now with this installment, just like I've said before, this was a banger. The concept and story is revived. To meet the premise of Saw 1 at eye level, it has all the fun and torture we've come to expect with the series, but the in-world unsolved mystery of who the new Jigsaw killer is is done so refreshingly to keep the audience at the edge of their seat and invested in the game and some of its victims that we even want some justice bestowed on them. I was a little too tough on Costas Mandalore in my last video, but his new ruthless turn in this movie adds a much needed layer of depth to his character of Mark Hoffman. He's not likable, but the movie knows this and manifests it with discernment. He's not a overly ominous person like in Saw 4 where his reveal as Jigsaw was flat or unlikable like in the last movie. And it's not that his acting went from 0 to 100, but that... The director and writers gave him the same amount of care that Winnell gave to Tobin Bell's Jigsaw in the first installment. And that gave me an over appreciation of this character of Hoffman as he's developing. Yeah, he's a brooding force that's not as intelligent as John Kramer, but he's shrewd and cunning and intelligent in his own way. But the direction in the writing not only invests its time in Mandalore's Hoffman, but perfectly balances the storylines of the supporting characters. Peter Outerbridge's character has become one of my favorite main victims because not only does his backstory play against him, but by the end of his game, you feel like he did change through this experience. And his arc, I think, was more believable to me than Shawnee Smith from the other films who does return for some flashback sequences. The torture is always an element that's worth mentioning and it's no different here except for one way, it was tasteful yet fun and entertaining. This is the one where I thought the people really did not give an F about others in a believably human way and their role in John Kramer's life warrants their pain with enough brutality for us to feel bad about them. And the game, people, is the most creative, the most original out of the bunch with its sadistic carnival theme hitting the nail on the head of what Jigsaw thinks about this guy's profession as an insurance broker who gives insurance to healthy people and not to sick ones for monetary gain. He is literally playing a game with people's lives. I will note down though that the main perpetrator for me coming out of the film the many times that I did was because of the acting. The acting just keeps on being lackluster. It's like watching a bad soap opera with every cringy line spewed out. And what's up with the cinematography? There is a cold and lifeless cinematic feel throughout the entire movie and some of the previous ones What's up with that? To wrap it all up, Saw 6 does suffer from the same hindrances as its predecessors with some lacking performances and weird techniques that dilutes the world, but it tightens up those loose ends and delivers a quality narrative that stitches the universe together back in line. 
fleshing out our lead and adding humanistic qualities to our victims and a torturous and extraordinary carnival theme game that teaches the immorality wait let me at least finish that teaches the immorality of hypocrisy oh now you don't I'm just playing with you guys. I know you guys want me to go to those coordinates. I low-key want to go and figure out what the heck is happening. I already jotted them down on my notebook. But till then, like this video, share this video with family and friends, subscribe to my channel. Till next time, movie fans. Siri, take me somewhere. Make sure you guys keep a lookout as we continue with Game over. Wish me luck, movie fans.